Has there been a day in which the sun rose in the United States without a mega project rising with it? Every day dawns with new projects, billion dollar projects that would leave the world in awe of its magnificence. It is even more surprising that despite the shock of COVID-19 pandemic and its resulting loss and severe shortage of labour, the construction of mega projects do not still suffer setbacks. Contractors all over the world continue to deliver projects worth billions of dollars. In the wake of a new construction era, here are the 5 biggest American mega projects you should look out for by 2030. Number 5. California High Speed Rail Back in 2008, a $9.95 billion proposal was made to begin the construction of a high speed rail network across the state of California. When completed, the California High Speed Rail project, which spans 35 active construction sites across a 119 mile section of the Central Valley, will be the country's first long distance high speed rail line. The system is anticipated to run from San Francisco to Los Angeles in just under 3 hours, using bullet trains that can go up to 200 miles per hour, according to the state of California's High Speed Rail Authority. The system's reach would be increased by up to 24 stations and would cover an additional 800 miles by being extended to Sacramento and San Diego. The overall cost of this huge project was previously anticipated to be approximately $40 billion, but progress has been hampered by problems. The initial 119 mile Central Valley stretch between Merced and Bakersfield didn't begin construction until 2015 over three years later than expected as a result of several challenges and protests and the estimated cost for the Central Valley region alone is now valued at $13.1 billion. Additionally, the mega project's budget has grown as well as its timetable. The foundation of the whole system is thought to be the first part. The ultimate track arrangement is still uncertain, even though parts of the line have been underdeveloped for the last seven years. The Central Valley segment alone, according to the train agency's latest estimate, might cost $23 billion and wouldn't be completed until 2029. Well, just like other projects, within the coronavirus outbreak season, the California High Speed Rail has experienced further delays as a result of the pandemic and also budget restrictions implemented by the Trump administration, nevertheless, there have been additional developments. According to recent project releases, 380 miles of the Los Angeles to San Francisco route have received environmental clearance, with the remaining 43 miles still under evaluation. High-speed train service between San Francisco, Los Angeles and Anaheim, however, is now anticipated by 2033, with an estimated cost of up to $105 billion. Number 4. Chicago Tunnel and Reservoir Plan Chicago's ambitious tunnel and reservoir plan, commonly abbreviated as TARP, is not just one of the biggest in the United States, but also one of the greatest mega projects in the world. In terms of size, expense and duration, the mega project is among the biggest civil engineering undertakings ever done in the history of man's existence. The massive civil engineering project is centered on a network of deep, enormously wide tunnels and enormous reservoirs which are intended to lessen floods and clean up the nearby rivers. When it rains, the tunnel catches and holds mixed rainwater and sewage that might otherwise overflow into rivers. After being cleansed and discharged by plants, this water is then pumped into those facilities. The project was started in the 1970s, and it was supposed to be finished in the 1980s. However, the sewage system is still under construction and the project's completion deadline has now been extended to 2029, which means it will have taken well over 50 years to complete. The project was to be developed in two parts and included four drainage tunnel systems totaling 109 miles that ranged in diameter from 8 to 33 feet and were 150 to 300 feet below. The Phase 1 tunnel systems, whose construction began in 1975 and was finished in 2006, were put into operation when parts were finished. The construction of three enormous reservoirs for flood control is the main goal of Phase 2, which should be completed within the next seven years. 
This will increase the overall tarp storage capacity to 17.5 billion gallons. This mega project has received multiple honours for its engineering, including the Most Outstanding Civil Engineering Project Award from the American Society of Civil Engineers. It has also received praise for its effects on the environment. The Tunnel and Reservoir Plan, which is the largest project of its kind in the world, aims to preserve and enhance local waterways while lowering floods across Cook County. Despite the system's completion not being expected until 2029, a significant chunk of it has been opened and is in use right now. The project has cost over $3 billion and taken over 30 years to complete. Number 3. Samsung Chip Factory, Austin, Texas Tech giant Samsung revealed plans to build a $17 billion semiconductor production plant in Taylor, Texas, which is northeast of Austin, Texas, in late November. The facility is expected to begin construction in 2022, with operations starting in 2024. A principal contractor for the project has not yet been named by the corporation. The facility, if completed in 2024 as scheduled, would become the South Korean giant company's largest investment in the US. According to Samsung, the new plant will increase the manufacturing of cutting-edge semiconductors for 5G mobile communications, sophisticated computing, and artificial intelligence, while also enhancing supply chain resilience. The facility's anticipated cost would cover all structures, land renovations, machinery, and equipment. The South Korean company's investment in the United States will be its greatest to date. Since the late 1990s, the business has run a chip production plan in Austin, and it plans to share resources and infrastructure across the two locations. The project's release coincides with a worldwide scarcity of computer chips caused by COVID-19-related supply problems. The lack of chips is becoming a huge corporate barrier and a significant national security issue for the US. Production of new cars and other equipment has been hampered for more than a year as a result of supply problems caused by shutdowns during the pandemic. In reaction to the shortages, which have had a negative impact on industries ranging from the automobile to the video game, several chip makers are distributing their production facilities. With more than 20,000 workers throughout the US, Samsung is one of the biggest semiconductor manufacturers in the world. With the most recent announcement, it said, its overall investment in the nation reached $47 billion. Number 2. Amazon HQ2 Arlington Crystal City, Virginia The construction of the first phase of the new Amazon HQ2 office space at National Landing began in January 2020 and is on schedule to be completed by 2023, according to Clark Construction. The contractor plans to complete installing the facades on the office buildings at Metropolitan Park by the summer of 2022, and then begin working on the two-acre planted courtyard after the structures are finished. Over the two 22-storey LEED-certified buildings, the Metropolitan Park site will provide the online mega-retailer 2.1 million square feet of office space and 50,000 square feet of retail space that will be leased to nearby small companies. The second phase's principal contractor is Whiting Turner, and according to Amazon, the fair structures at Penn Place should be finished by 2025. A total of 2.1 million square feet of constructed area will make up the Metropolitan Park campus at National Landing, which is close to the Pentagon City Metro Station for access to Washington, D.C. The 2023 completion target is in line with the timeline provided by Amazon in late 2019. Right before the project's groundbreaking in early 2020 and before the COVID-19 pandemic's effects were apparent, Despite the difficulties posed by the epidemic, Jeff King, vice president of Clark, remarked that all major goals regarding the project had been met. He also stated that the building crew had started work on installing the outer facade and had reached the halfway point in its concrete operations, which gave the public a glimpse of hope. Clark's team have made an attempt to order the project's essential materials ahead of schedule in order to prevent supply chain interruptions and material delays. With that, it is very likely that we would be expecting a complete Amazon HQ2 mega project by 2023. Amazing. Number 1. Buffalo Bills Stadium, Buffalo, New York The NFL Giants Buffalo Bills 
filed a design to the city of Buffalo in August for a new 1.4 billion 60,000 seat stadium to be constructed by 2027, ahead of the expiry of its lease to play home games at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. The present Bill Stadium, which would immediately replace Highmark Stadium or a new as yet undetermined site in Buffalo's downtown, are both potential sites for the new stadium. The proposed stadium would rank as the 11th most costly structure ever built if completed on the existing location of the Bills. At $2.1 billion, it would be the third most costly in downtown Buffalo. Engineering company Acom finished its first investigation into the project and its effects a few months ago. Due to the high expected cost and limited lifespan of a refurbishment, the business advised against trying to restore the 50-year-old Highmark Stadium. Additionally, the ACOM analysis advises construction near Orchard Park rather than Buffalo. The present 50-year-old Bill Stadium won't even remotely resemble the new one in terms of appearance and atmosphere, according to Scott Radich, a former linebacker of the Buffalo Bills who is now working as the project's executive for Populous, the stadium's architect, it will be intimate yet frightening, with an emphasis on bringing spectators as near to the action as possible. Greater levels than the existing stadium will be present. It will occupy less space than the present stadium while having a large interior. It will be orientated differently than the present stadium and include a new entrance. The new 60,000-seat arena will be designed by the architecture company and measure 1.35 million square feet. Across from the present stadium on Abbott Road, on 242.5 acres of land, will stand the $1.4 billion stadium and its associated parking lots. Although the new stadium will have around 10,000 fewer seats than the existing Highmark Stadium, the space won't be any smaller. Larger concourses and deeper, broader and more comfortable seating will be built using the additional space. Nevertheless, the new stadium's footprint will be smaller, measuring 730 feet wide and 880 feet long, about 100 feet shorter than Highmark Stadium. According to Radich, the goal is to provide spectators a close-knit environment with excellent sight lines that might intimidate other teams. The stadium will be taller and steeper since the stands will be piled. The new stadium will be 50 feet higher than Highmark Stadium with a partial roof over top to shield as many people as possible from weather factors including rain, snow and wind. The view of the stadium will be dramatic. What are your thoughts about these mega projects currently being constructed in America? Let us know in the comment section. It's amazing to have you watch this video to the end. Before clicking off, leave us a big thumbs up and ring the bell to join our notification army.